Hi everyone, it's the English Summer here and welcome back to Let's Play The Wolf Among Us Part 11. So in this part we are on our way to the Lucky Pawn to see if they can tell us anything more about the Crooked Man and any of his dodgy packages or things like that. So we're just gonna go ahead and continue with the game because the point the butcher pointed us in this direction so that's where we're heading next so here we are at the lucky pawn and it says There's jewelry no, repair don't give me that shit what the fuck is the point of having a system if you're just exactly gonna my jack system. what the fuck is going on but you i'm uh, the guy who just gonna sure. i'm the guy to keep uh, shit in order you know. and that's it woody if you love your ex so fucking much why'd you pawn it in the first fucking place huh <laughs> Follow Jack. I didn't pawn it, oh. asshole. It was stolen from my apartment. So get the fuck out of my sight. Hit the bricks. Oh. See you later. Hey, what's going on here? What the fucking hell? Christ. And this fucking guy too? Are you kidding <laughs> me? It was here. It was right fucking here. What did you do with it? How the fuck do I know? Listen, you bald little dipshit. You're gonna... <laughs> You piece of shit! Oh, we're gonna ret restrain Jersey. Back it up, Jersey. You're dealing with me now. You got here fast. Still looking for whoever killed them hookers, or are you done chasing your tail? Where's my? Oh ass? shit! Up. Who'd you give it to? You follow me here all the way from Battery Fucking Park. Trust me, you do not want to go there. And what if I do? Back off, dog. We I can just take him. Want what's mine? My axe. You talk big, but I don't think you got the stones to back it up. Oh. Still a little sore, are we? Punch him. I, I want to punch him. Fun. You ain't so tough. Let me punch you know him. I'm... Yes. You fucking mother. Oh. Motherfucker. Oh. Oh, that was painful. Holy crap. What are you doing? This is my fucking fight. Not now, dog. You got a lot of nerve. Shut up, Woody. Oh, jeez. Haven't we seen him before? Wasn't he in the bar? Whoa. Get him. Stop him. Oh. He knows how to fight. Oh, there's the axe, at least. Too bad you couldn't protect those whores. <laughs> Go on, try to stop me. Easy. <laughs> stay down. Yes, Big B. There she is. <laughs> oh shoot! Come on, Big B. We got this. Oh, yes. We're so badass. Hey. Ooh, Q, 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 Q. Rip it off. Hey. Oh, man. Killed with his own horn. Dude, give up. Oh. No. Q, 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 Q. Come on, game. We can do this. We got this. Hey, no. Assholes. I found her. Yes. Thanks, Woody. Oh, shoot. Now he's got a weapon. You know, casually pick up an anvil. Ah. Oh. Ouch. Ew. No, don't do it, Woody. Don't. The magic mirror's missing shard. Where is it? Bloody Mary brought it here, didn't she? You don't know anything about anything, do you? What do you have? Nothing. 
Ah, useless bitch, Snow White in a broken fucking mirror. No fucking friends. Nothing? I still have you, don't I? <laughs> you can't find a crooked man. No one can. Oh, the door to his house. It bounces around. Never in one spot. You'll never find it. Even Crane had to use the magic mirror. They dumped all his shit here. Bloody Mary uses this place like a fucking dump. Where'd they take him? Where did they take Crane? Oh, how the fuck should I know? They do what they do. You'll never see him again. I'm sure we can. There's all his stuff, so... Just go on. Get Crane shit and go. Not that it's gonna do you any good. Oh, Is shut up. Crane's coat. Right. Hopefully the shards in here somewhere. Money? No time for traveler's checks, huh? We're gonna take the money? You won't be needing this anymore. <laughs> we just take all the money we can get in this game. Oh. That sick piece of... Poor Snow. Please be the shard. Yes. The shard? It's the shard. Finally. Thank the Lord for that. Thanks, Woody. Hey, Sheriff. Oh, what do you want? Those girls are still dead. Oh, and there's nothing you can do to bring them back. And I don't know what they did, but I do know this. Oh, if they're dead, it's because the crooked man wanted them dead. That's all it takes. So you can roar, smash the place up. <laughs> Shit. You can wail on me all you want. But what good is it gonna do you? Because he ain't in your town. You're in his. Shut him up. <laughs> I just wanted to hear what he had to say. Oh. Just shut the fuck up, will you? Yes. Go, Big B. We run this town. Out of smoke. Cheers, mate. You big hunking mess. He did help us. Thanks. Shitty brand. Why does everyone say it's a shitty brand? You're welcome. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. I was having trouble deciding which one of you to hit with this thing. Ah, oh, thanks, babe. What a sweetheart. I love Woody. He's There's like our bestie wrong. that we hate. About what? About those girls. There is something we can do about it. We can get the fucker who did it. Oh, we will. Ain't that the plan? Yeah, you're damn right it is. All right, we'll go do it then. Thanks, we will. Inspirational words by Woody there. Cl slow claps. Hey, Woody. Yeah? I'll see you around, all right? <laughs> Love the bromance. <laughs> Those fields. Yeah. I'll see ya. Oh, Kiwi. But yeah, I love that bromance that they've got going on. Even though they hate each other's guts, it's still, still all right. What would their ship name be, I wonder? No, can't think of one off the top of my head. Fable Town Business Office, and it's now evening. I don't care who killed the prostitutes. If Crane was helping himself to the community coffers, it means his hand was in my pocket, and you just let him go. I don't know what you heard, but it didn't happen like that. Are you denying the facts? Uh, she's denying me the chance to get a word in. Now, Miss Watt, <laughs> Sheriff Bigby has returned. Ah, there's the old wrecking bowl himself. Bigby, where have you been? I'm not finished here, Miss Watt. You will have to wait. Just one moment, please. Look what I found. Woohoo! Party time! Seems your dog wants a biscuit. Oh, feck off. <sighs> Buffkin, Cocky get little this piece smirk. in the mirror right away. With pleasure, Miss White. <sighs> Finally. 
things are swinging back in the right direction. Good work, Bigby. Hmm. You've been gone all day. What did you uncover? I thought you were going to report back to me. I mean, it's fine. I had to get real persuasive with the Jersey Devil down at the Lucky Pawn. But he told me that the Crooked Man's door, to wherever it is he hangs his hat, it moves. It's some kind of magic door. Do you think the mirror will be able to find the door, once it's fixed? That's how Crane did it. And that's how we're gonna do it. Excellent work. Really. Thanks. Sorry, I could use your assistance. Would you join me at the mirror? Sure, Buffkin. Anything for you, dude. Don't go far, Sheriff. I'd like to have a few words of my own with you. Why don't you go fuck off until I'm good and ready? <laughs> yes. I don't understand. This piece just doesn't want to join the rest. Do you have any idea why? Got me. Well, where did you find it? What has it gone through since being separated from the rest? Shattering is a very traumatic experience, you know. So this process can be a little touchy. And a front row seat to a pretty gnarly brawl at the Lucky Pawn. When I found it, it was still in Crane's coat. Last person I saw with Crane or his coat was that psycho Bloody Mary. Maybe she had some... Ah, yes, Miss White was asking about her. That explains it. You know who and the mirror have a very unhappy history with each other. Oh. How would you like it if she tried to use you as a doorway? Yeah. I think I already know the feeling. Well, I think I know how to proceed now. It will just take a little extra coaxing, that's all. Thank you for your help. It could be a while, Sheriff. I'll find you when it's ready. Thanks, Buffers. He might not want to come out with you watching. Oh, he doesn't like being spied on. <laughs> Is it oh, fixed? Please leave Did you ask bed. about the crooked man? Buffkin's still working on it. He said it might be a while. If you're so self-reliant, what do you want from the business office out back? What I want is my business. I can't take those two right now. <laughs> We're trying to catch a murderer, and they're... They're over there bickering about bureaucracy. We're at war. Don't they realize that? Do you need some help over there? Yeah, thanks. Go talk to Toad. But just so you know, we can't pay him. Aww. He really needs to go to the farm, you know. So just break the news and be done with it, okay? <gasps> Can we give him the money we just stole from Crane? I don't want Toad to go to the farm. I like Toad. Come here. I thought I made myself very clear. I see how it is. Passed off to an underling, eh? Why am I not? <laughs> well, you did cause what damage brings me in here, so maybe it's for the best. Just need a little bit of dosh to cover it. I tried talking to her about it, but it's like chatting up a brick wall, it is. <laughs> now, I'm sure you've got your own agenda, Sheriff, but I've taken a real wallet because of you. I'm starting to think you don't take me seriously, Toad. How many times have I told you to get glamoured up? You know that if you're out of glamour, I gotta send you to the farm. Well, how about your friend the pig, hmm? Is he going to the farm too? Yeah, you thought we didn't know about him, huh? A worst kept secret in Fable <laughs> Colin stays out of sight, for Mondays at least. And you say the same? Oh, fine, fine, I get that. But might I propose a very simple solution? If you give me one more chance and hear me out, I'll see a way for me and me boy to stay. I'm not gonna ask for any more than I need. I just wanna stay. So what do you say? You just give me enough to cover me glamours and we'll call the rest to watch. Please, Sheriff. Don't take TJ from the only oh, army TJ. now. This old glamour rule is oppressive. I've done nothing wrong but look different. Look, I'll try to get you that money and get you another chance, but you have to understand, that's not entirely up to me. Oh, thank you, Sherry. I knew I could count on you to make me old again. We get you sorted and I'll be glamour to the nines, I will. Oh, I do want to help him. I feel as if I just made a promise that I can't keep. And Snow knows. Oh shoot. Bluebeard, you wanna talk? Now's your chance. I've just made my donation funding this office. So direct your questions to Miss White. Well, at least he's not trying to get rid of me. He's not? For now. Did you take care of Toad? Um, I mean, I saw the way he left. I know it may not seem that important right now. 
But glamours are the law for a very good reason. Toad won't be a problem. I'll see to that. Are you sure? Because he left looking pretty happy. <laughs> <sighs> Sorry. Fine. We'll deal with it later. I know I should be asking how it got like this, but I just keep wondering why it happened to Faith and Lily. You've seen his world. Do you have any idea why he'd want them dead? I don't know if the crooked man killed them with his own hand or if it was one of his goons. I don't know, but when I catch the fucker who did this, I'll find out why. Sheriff, Miss White, I believe the mirror is repaired. Yay! Cheers, Buffkin. I have to say, I have been better. But thanks for putting me back together. I'm sorry, I just... I have to know. Mirror, mirror, we're glad you weren't slain. Now please show us that sick creep crane. Snow, I know you've got your reasons, but he's not our top concern right now. You will get on that plane to Paris, and you will wait for the day the Crooked Man needs you. Until then, not a peep. Otherwise, I get to deal with you my way. So please, please disobey. Wait a minute. Someone's watching. She knows. Hey, Mary. Oh my god. How did she manipulate Just it? Happened. We pointed you in the wrong direction and looked at Bloody Mary's reflection. Oh, her. That explains the sting. I'd rather not have to feel the pain she brings. Oh, poor so, Mary. Let's not do that again, okay? Okay. Looks like we'll have to track him down later. You're right. We need to focus on the immediate threat, and that's the crooked man. Bigby. We don't have a lot of time. Uh, mirror, mirror. <laughs> no time to pout. So where does Crooked Man hang out? That's the I symbol. I recognize the door, but that's the Crooked Man symbol on it. Hold on. It's moving. The door. It moves. what I tell you? Wait a minute. I know that door. That's Central, Central Park. Park. I don't know when it's gonna move again, but I'm gonna get there before it does. Bigby, wait. When you get the Crooked Man, make sure you bring him back alive. He has to stand trial. We can't just dispense street justice. I know that emotions can run high. I'll catch him and bring him back here. Alive. Then we can clean them and cook them together. <laughs> Good. I have enough to worry about here while I prepare the case against him. So I'm going to trust you to handle this properly. That is, if you think you're ready. Of course I'm ready. Oh, I we're always choice. ready. Time to find him. At least we know where it was. The Gothic Bridge, Central Park, 94th Street, and it is at night. Run, Bigby, run. There it is. Found the door. Oh, there's a lost cat. He's called Pixel. Oh, what a cutie. Sweet. A portal. Here we go. Straight into his lair. This maybe wasn't a good idea. Tim, what the hell are you doing here? Oh, tiny good evening, Tim. Sheriff. I'm here to take you to the boss. Thanks, by the way, for leaving off tiny. Oh, sorry. <laughs> That's what I called him. I have to admit, when they asked me to watch the door. I wasn't sure what to expect when you came through that portal. Hold on. You've just been waiting for me to show up? You knew I was coming? That's what they told me. I don't know. They said you made it pretty clear. Well, we did. I'm supposed to bring you right on in, so if you'll come this way. Look, this is the one thing I have to do. Fine. Lead on. 
I don't want to ruin his job for him. But still, don't think he should be working there. I do not approve. Thanks for understanding. This is all I'm here to do, and I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> I know I'm probably the last person you'd expect to be a guard. I get it. You have a job to do. But you gotta ask yourself if you want to be involved with this guy. Whatever you may think of him, he doesn't treat me like some broken little kid. I think he gets what it's like. He gave me a job, and I'm lucky to have it. This is the only option I've got. Just keep that in mind, maybe? Because if you and the boss go up against each other, the rest of Fable Town is going to get caught in the middle. I can find the door myself. You should just get the hell out of here. Things are going to get ugly in a minute. Leave? I told you, I have to do this. Hey, you've been warned. Stick around, and you're a part of this, just like anyone else. A lot of us depend on him. Some of us never get to the front of the line at the business office. But he's there. We need you, but we need him too. What we don't need is a war. He started hey, the Sheriff, war. Hold up. I gotta go in with you. Thanks. <laughs> Am I some kind of a fucking joke to you? What did I tell you? Oh. Stop laughing. Go me. ahead. Oh, yeah. I got a job Thanks. to do. I ain't. See, we come in nice when we want to be. Sheriff Wolf, sir. Here they all are. Go away, Jersey. Thank you, Tim. And there's the crooked man. I know the sheriff isn't the accommodating sort, but you handled it. You did well. You can go now. Thank you, sir. See what you see, he wants? Everyone in Fable Town has a role to fill. You just have to pay attention to what they need to help them find it. <laughs> we are not happy. Why don't you have a seat, Sheriff? We have a great deal to discuss. Yeah, it looks like a riot of a party. All right, you got me here. Let's talk. Okay, guys, so I'm going to end this part here. Uh, I think that's the end of that episode anyway. Yeah, next time on The Wolf Among Us. I've heard stories about you. In the old days, how you picked off those men one by one. Oh, how they screamed. The wolf is coming. And they would wait. Hiding anywhere they could squeeze their pathetic, shivering corpses. Some would just drop to their knees where they stood, close their eyes, and wait for death. And you'd give it to them. <laughs> I wish I could have seen it. Oh, well. <gasps> Oh, okay, so that's coming up in episode 5 of The Wolf Among Us. It is the last episode, so there won't be many parts of this Let's Play left. But here are our players' choices for that last chapter. Did you send Colin to the farm? You and 85.5% of the players decided not to send Colin to the farm. Did you attempt to remove Nerissa's ribbon? You and 63.8% of players did not try to remove the ribbon. Which crooked operation did you investigate first? You and 63.2% of the players went to the cut above, which is the butchers first. You and 73.3% of players, players decided Toad should not go to the farm. And you and 41.8% of the players agreed to talk with the crooked man first. So that's the end of this part. I hope you all enjoyed this episode of The Wolf Among Us. I hope you're all still really enjoying the game. I freaking love it. 
it just gets better and better every time I play it. So thank you all for watching. If you liked it, please do give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to leave your comments below. I love you all so much and I will speak to you all in the next part. Bye guys!